Good afternoon everyone. Hello Antopes. How are you today? Today, we are going to continue on the same topic, money. So, for today's lesson, we are going to solve the problem about money. So, for today's lesson, the students need to refer to the Mathematics Activity Book, Part 2, on page 26. We are going to do the exercise on Activity 5. Students need to calculate the total price and the balance received. Now, we look at the price of each item. For the curry puff, the cost is 45 cents. A slice of watermelon costs 30 cents. A glass of juice costs 50 cents. A noodle costs 2 ringgit. Burger costs 1 ringgit. And a slice of cake costs 3 ringgit. Look at the examples given. Okay. Uh, for example, a student buy a slice of watermelon and a glass of juice. A slice of watermelon costs 30 cents and a glass of juice costs 50 cents. So, we need to find the total price here. 30 cents plus 50 cents equal to 80 cents. The total price is 80 cents. And the students pay 90 cents. So, to find the balance, we need to use the subtraction. To find the balance, we need to subtract 90 cents minus 80 cents. So, the answer that we get is 10 cents. Look at the next example. A student buy a slice of watermelon and a curry puff. We need to find the total of the price. To find the total, we use addition. So, 30 cents plus 45 cents. Please remember that you need to write the word cent. Okay. 0 plus 5 equals to 5. 3 plus 4 equals to 7. So, the total price is 75 cents. The students pay with 90 cents. How to find the balance here? You need to show the calculation to find the balance. To find the balance, we use subtraction. 90 cents minus 75 cents. 0 minus 5. We cannot subtract 0 and 5. So, ask 1 tenth from 9. Then, the 9 become 8. And, this one become 10. Now, we can minus 10 minus 5. 10 minus 5 equals to 5. 8 minus 7 equals to one. So, the students have the balance 50 cents. Next question. We need to find the total of a glass of juice and a curry puff. A glass of juice costs 50 cents and a curry puff costs 45 cents. To find the total, we need to use addition. 50 cents plus 45 cents. Please remember to write the word cent in your answer. 0 plus 5 equals to 5. 5 plus 4 equals to 9. So, the total price is 95 cents. The student pay with 1 ringgit. Do you still remember 1 ringgit equals to how many cents? Yes, you are right. 1 ringgit equals to 100 cents. To find the balance, we need to use subtraction. 100 cents minus 95 cents. So, 10 
minus 5 equals to 5. 9 minus 9 equals to 0. No need to write number 0 because 0 has no value. This 0, also the same thing. No need to, to write the, uh, the number of 0 here. So, the balance that you got is 5 cents. Now, we find the total price of a burger and noodle. A burger costs 1 ringgit and noodle costs 2 ringgit. To find the total, we need to use addition. 1 ringgit plus 2 ringgit equals to 3 ringgit. Yes, very good. Don't forget to write down the letter R and M. Okay. So, ringgit Malaysia, 3 ringgit. The students pay with 5 ringgit. So, how many left? To find the balance, do subtraction. 5 ringgit minus 3 equals to 2. 2 ringgit. Look at this example. We need to find the total price of a noodle and a slice of cake. A noodle is 2 ringgit and a slice of cake is 3 ringgit. 2 ringgit plus 3 ringgit equals to 5 ringgit. Yes, very good. Then, the student pay with 10 ringgit. How to find the balance? You need to show your calculation here by doing subtraction. 10 ringgit minus 5 ringgit. So, the money that left is 5 ringgit. The balance is 5 ringgit. Now, we continue our lesson on the next page, page 27, activity 6. Look at the price of each item answer the question okay we look at we look at the item one by one this is the hat clip the cost is 50 cent the sticker cost 40 cent the balloon here cost 75 cent the party hat here cost 80 cent and the mask cost 50 cent okay we look at the first question what is the total price of the hair clip and the sticker? Look at the word total here. Total means you need to add the price. Use addition. So, you need to write down the price of hair clip here. 55 cent plus, put the plus symbol here and the price of the sticker, 40 cent. So, you need to show your calculation here. Do calculation, 55 cent plus 40 cent. Don't forget to write the word cent. Add this part first. The ones first. 5 plus 0 equals to 5. 5 plus 4 equals to Nine. So, the total price of the hair clip and the sticker is 95%. cent. do not forget to write down your answer in the box. The total price is 95%. Cent. Okay, done. Very easy. Question B. Calculate the difference between the price of the hat and the mask. Look at the words different. Difference mean you need to use subtraction. Okay, don't forget that when we use, when we want to subtract the number, put the bigger number first or put the bigger fry price here. So, which one is more bigger? The price of hat or the price of the mask? 80 cent or 50 cent? Yes, 80 cent. Put the bigger one here. 
80 cent minus 50 cent. Then you need to show your calculation. Do subtraction here. 80 cent subtract or minus 50 cent. 0 minus 0 equals to 0. 8 minus 5 equals to 3. So the different price is 30 cent. Don't forget to write down your answer in the box here. The different is 30 cent. Question C. List two items with a total cost of 90 cent. Now, look at all these items, these five items. Okay, you need to find the two items that the total cost is 90 cent. Okay. Which one? Uh, maybe the hair clip and the sticker? No. Maybe the sticker and the hat? Yes. It is the sticker and the mask. The sticker costs 40 cent and the mask costs 50 cent. So the total cost of these two items is 90 cent. Uh, spell the spell your answer here in the box. The first one is mask and the second one is sticker. Look at this last question. Question D. Nani has one ringgit. She wants to buy the balloon. Does she have enough money? So, we need to check. What is the price of the balloon? The balloon is 75 cent. But, you need to show the calculation here. To know that she, have, she has enough money or not. Still remember, one ringgit equals to how many cent? Yes, 1 ringgit equals to 100 cent. So, we need to do the subtraction. 100 cent minus 75 cent. 75 cent is the cost of the balloon. Okay, for this step, 10 minus 5 equals to 5. 9 Minus 7 equals to 2. 0, no number here. No need to write 0 because 0 has no value. If we do subtraction, the balance that we got is 25 cent. So, that means she has enough money to buy the balloon because she also has she also has the balance or the extra money. The answer you need to write down is yes, she does. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to complete the exercise on page 26 and 27. Don't forget to snap and send me the task for checking. Take care everyone, stay safe.